Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and in this video we're going to have a look at Fog of War. Now you're probably scratching your head going, Fog of War? I've never heard of it. It sounds like we're familiar, They're all those sort of names are quite similar when it comes to the World War II genre and this is another game that kind of like slipped under the radar. Never heard of it. And I was sniffing around on YouTube looking at World War II games and then I went on to the Steam store and lo and behold it was $5.99 I thought, do you know what, I'll take a risk. Can't put it at my native resolution but do you know what, I'll take a risk. So the graphics look rather nice. And from what I can gather from this game, it's set in World War II obviously and you can play as the Germans and apparently with the support of the Allies, Italy, Hungary, Romania, Finland and Slovakia, all suddenly and without warning attack the USSR and so began the Great Patriotic War. So that's what it says on the actual spiel. Now there's supposed to be a whole gamut of vehicles and weapons in here and this is unfortunately early access. I know we hear that so many times these days, early access, early access. So you're going to be expecting it to be a little bit buggy etc. But this is made by Russian developers and they usually got their head screwed on pop themselves up on vodka and they go for authenticism, if I can even say the word. So let's jump in. This is literally going to be my first experience of this game and I'm going to share it with you. Let's jump in and see what we think of Fog of War. Now, I was told pre-coming into this from looking at a lot of the comments on Steam that there weren't many players actually playing the game. And at certain times in the UK, it would have been 9 o'clock at night is when the servers start to fill up. So, again, it is early access. They've literally got no budget for advertising whatsoever. So I suppose it is hard to get a player base in there. So here we are, out of balance. It looks like we're going to have to play as the Germans. So let's click this button. And so we have different platoons here. I'm going to go straight for the machine gun. In fact, there's... Uh, spawn on default, spawn as machine gunner. In fact, I'm going to go with this squad because there's more players in it. Hopefully that will put us together. So here we are, we're in. And... Okay, so initially it feels very floaty. And if you come at this as a squad player, I'm going to reference that because, you know, predominantly I cover squad the most on this channel. It feels... Describe this. If any of you have played Heroes and Generals, you know, like you move your mouse, it's ever so quick and fast. Uh, it feels rather strange. Whereas we know, like with armor and uh, squad, it feels like your weapon's got a little bit of weight to it. That felt like the movement was very, very floaty. But we can't judge a game purely on the first 10, 10 seconds of getting in there. So let me just get back in with this thing and we'll let a few rounds rip and see what we feel. So there's a spawn timer up at the top. A lot of people said in the comments that this was a cross between Project Reality and Rising Storm. Jesus, and Rising Storm. That kind of feel. I think you know what I mean. If you've played Vietnam, again, it, you know the difference in the way it feels compared to Squad. There is definitely a different mechanic of moving around and it, that light, floaty feeling, which personally, I'll be honest, very rushing. I don't know what that is. Personally, I don't like it. I don't like that. I want to feel weight behind the actual soldiers and the weapons. But hey ho, that's me. Let's uh, let's see if we can get a few rounds off on this bad boy. Let's see what we think. I'm just gonna run up near this shed, get away from the fighting. I don't know whether it's objective based in this game, I have no idea, just so we get a little chance to breathe a little bit. I can see the soldiers down there. Okay, so here's our map. It doesn't look like there's any sort of objective here at all. Hopefully this isn't like some sort of skirmish team deathmatch because that has zero, and I mean zero, interest for me. So there's a grenade. Let's have a look at the effects. Nice little shockwave there. You can hear the gunfire in the background. 
just trying to work out whether I'm actually laid down here. It feels a little bit weird. Now, as many of you know, apart from being an absolute slut of a graphics whore, Oh, looks like I put my backpack down. Oh, that's quite nice to enable. It's almost like an ammo pack. As many of you know, apart from being an absolute slut when it comes to graphics, I'm also an audiophile. Eargasms. So, you know, I love Anders' work on Project Reality and Squad. Absolutely amazing. Now, firing that MG42 sounded like I was firing it out of a plastic cup. This thing should be terrifying. And there is a certain other game that's very similar to Squad. Which is coming soon, hopefully. And the MGs sound incredible. Let's get a few more rounds off. I've got to reload. I thought I had a bigger mag, bigger drum mag than that. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Come on, give me a target to shoot. I am wondering whether the game is a little bit like Heroes in Generals, where as you rank up, you then enable more vehicles. Yeah, th this just does not feel satisfying to actually fire this MG42. This should be almost deafening me. It should be distilling fear in the battlefield, as it were, and it doesn't feel like it at all. It feels like two plastic cups. And... You see what I mean? But uh, hey-ho, I know we're, we're going to make them make any excuses till the end of the world about things being early access, but this really doesn't feel satisfying. But I'll tell you what we'll do is, I may cut some of this video out in the future, and we'll get the rifles out and sift the rifles, increase it any or if I can find any vehicles, we'll maybe jump in and have a look at that as well. What's this? You lose. Well, that's, I've, I know that. I lose in, in life, and on YouTube, and everything else I do. Bollocks to it. Let's jump in and shoot some Nazis. Okay, here we are. Rifleman. Yeah, it feels very floaty. It's, uh, it's, you're gonna, probably going to hear me. I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm going to repeat that about 10,000 times on this video. But the, the feeling on here feels very light. So I'm going to follow this guy because I have not got a clue where we're going. I know when we jumped into the server, it actually said test server. It didn't say battlefield or you know or, or the the game mode so maybe this is just a stress test to get some players in who knows so i'm gonna follow this guy there's the compass and that's the amount of players in there so there is quite a few players in here actually to say that this is the middle of the day as you can see zit i'm gonna follow zit down here graphically wise this is quite pleasant i'm not gonna deny that the graphics are ugly it is a little bit low res on my screen, and, and I'm running at 1440p, so I can't actually pick my native resolution, which I'm sure will be something that is addressed. Okay, right. Time to get out of dodge. Sounds like there's somebody on the right-hand bank there. So with my bolt action... This is not a car. I don't know what this is, actually. Let's just see if he pops his head up blow that helmet clean off his head. Patience is the key, as you know in squad. Patience is the key. I don't want to fire and miss here. As soon as he pops his head, there he is, there he is, there he is. Come on, my son. Stick your head up. I'm going to stick this round right on the top lip. If you, a little interesting side fact here, actually. In terrorist uh, hostage situations, the marksman or sniper, they aim for the top lip. They don't aim for the arms or the chest or anything else. And the reason they go for the top lip is when the round goes through, it sever severs the top of the spinal column. And you actually... Get down, you bugger! We got him. You actually cannot pull the trigger. You lose complete control of your body from the neck down if he doesn't kill you instantly. So that's why they aim for the top lip. So there you go. You've learned something about execution. <laughs> Didn't think you were going to learn that in this video, did you? So... What do I think of it? Well, vehicles, vehicles, vehicles. We want to have a look at the vehicles and see. I'm just looking at the map. There doesn't seem to be any vehicles on here whatsoever. And this is, by the looks of it, going to be a team death match. I'm just I'm look at the controls here. AT grenades, binocula, compass, map. Right. Again, on the video, I might actually go. Whoa. 
Okay, okay, okay. That's a bug. It's alpha. We'll let him off. We'll let him off. I may cut that out of the video. Seems a little unfair, but hey, it is a bug. It is in there, so be aware of it. Let's see if we can find some vehicles, and I'll cut that out. Well, I haven't managed to find any vehicles actually on this map, but... Whoa, 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 whoa! I haven't actually managed to find any vehicles, but as I was approaching the north for some flanking manoeuvres, I did notice what looked like an artillery piece on the map. So I'm going to run through this cornfield, the fields of gold, and you can actually hear it firing up at this top end here. I don't know whether it's friendly or enemy. Let's just head up through this forest. Graphics nice. If I could increase the resolution, the game, I think, has probably got quite a good potential to be probably not at the, the, the top range of the World War II shooters, but it's certainly for, for the money. Probably not a bad investment for early access if you're prepared to be in there for the long haul. Oh, actually, what we've got here is that a pack 34. Six pounder. It could be. If you know, let me know. I'm not fully up on all the kit that was available in World War Two, but that looks like a pack gun to me. And it also looks like behind me there is a tank. Again, I don't know what that tank is. Again, if you know what it is, please do let me know. How do we get in? F. E. Space bar. F1. How do we get in? Get, oh, there we go. Tank driver, tank passager. Uh, okay, so I've seen the menus. How do I actually get in? Let's try that again. Tank driver. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Okay, so I'm wondering whether there is a first person view. As you can see on screen now, I mean, the graphics look really quite nice. It's just that floatiness for me, and another thing I've noticed as well is there is no actual squad play, and I don't mean that in reference to our, our beloved squad, I mean that as in reference to there's no squad markers to try and keep your squad together. So at this minute, whether this is purely because I'm in a skirmish match here, I'm not sure. So I am controlling this tank now, uh, and it seems there is no first person view for the actual driver, it's only third person. The actual gunner is the one that has the first person view. War power! I don't know what that means. War power! Oh, here we go. This could be our first little tank battle. Come on, gunner, turn around, turn around. I love the fact it said this area has been mine. Go away, please. It's like... <laughs> it's like that's the most polite set of Germans I've, I've ever heard in my life. We have mines this area. Please go away. Please. That's quite funny. As you can see, the effects are cool. I was just about to say the effects are quite realistic. And then we have a uh, Eddie the Kid stunt tank. Oh, and we're not even injured. It's unbelievable. Anyway, I, listen, guys. I don't want to prejudge this game too much. It, it is early alpha, but by the sounds of it, they, they're looking to add a massive amount of vehicles and weapons and game modes. So if you're looking to support a new World War II game that's coming soon, then there's no reason why you shouldn't support these guys. And, you know, it's five quid on Steam. You can play this game for what? I think is it two hours on Steam and get a full refund if you don't like it. So you've got nothing to lose, really. Be interested to know whether you find this game even slightly interesting, or whether you think it looks absolutely gash. But I wanted to cover it and be a little bit fair. Small team, you know, we can't expect everything to be the quality of the games that we love. So give it a go. This has been Fog of War and just a really, really quick general look at this. Don't judge it too much on my comments. Thanks for watching. I shall leave you with a little bit more footage of this game. Fog of War. Get it on Steam.